Hey there, I'm Brock Gill. Welcome to the channel. I'm going to do something a little different today. I'm going to show you some of my favorite things. I'm coming to you today from my office here at my home in Tennessee, and I have a few things stacked up here on my desk I want to show you. These are things that I don't always get to put on video. Uh, people ask me in the comments. People send me emails and ask me about certain things. So I'm going to show you some things now that maybe don't get the attention they deserve at times. And so we're going to start out. You know I love cappuccino. But this is all right, nothing in this one. Um, this is a cool company called Clutch. It's actually a friend of mine that owns this company, and this thing's awesome. I have a few of these mugs, and they are, uh, I mean, just they're so cool. It's got you can pop the top off uh, and 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 drink it. But this is it looks like an oil filter. Look how cool this is, and a, like an oil filter wrench right here. So anyway, I have a few of these, and I've been using these like to drink my coffee. You might see this in a video. You know, I'm in the in the van drinking. This is the company. People ask me, but this is uh, it's Clutch. This one's obvious. You see me use it all the time. It's my Zumo XT2, but some people don't know that it's the XT2 that I'm talking about. It's this new one, the newest, I guess you could say, from Garmin. And the reason I love this one is it's just so practical, and they've solved some problems. For example, the Tread app, I could put the GPX files onto my phone, just download them, or someone can text me the uh, uh, the, the the files. And when I put them on my phone and put them into the Tread app, this Garmin, they immediately show up on here. I don't have to hook it to a computer, no wires, nothing. It can happen It can happen while I'm out there on the trail. There's nothing else I have to do. I don't have to punch any buttons. It's just once I get the tracks, they're on my Tread app. And whatever edits I do, if I change them, delete them, add them, change the color, whatever, they're automatically done on the motorcycle, on the GPS. And I love it. So um, speaking of maps... A lot of people ask me about like, well, where do you find these maps and how do you, how do you like get these GPX files? Um, RideBDR.com, I just saw that behind me. Uh, RideBDR.com is where I get the files and they're free. The Butler maps, however, they're like 20 bucks or something. I buy these for every ride that I can. I love these. These are some maybe upcoming. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but these uh, particular BDR maps here, I don't even know what all I'm holding up here. But uh, like this one's Arizona backcountry discover, discovery route, for example. I'll get this and I'll supplement this with my GPX uh, file. So I can see on paper kind of lay, the lay of the land. And uh, so people have been asking like, where are you getting these maps from? How are you getting to ride all these places? How do you know where to go? RideBDR.com has been helping me, and then these Butler maps are really, really cool. I've, I'm gonna save this for last. I've got, I've got my one of my favorite things. I'm gonna save that one for last. Let me move, let me move to this. Um, these are some tools. You won't believe this, but this is my tire changing kit. Um, actually, I have two little bags like this, and I just gotta show you this. If you saw in a video, I, I think I was in Georgia doing the. Oh, it was the Holy Smokies, and I had a flat tire. And I didn't have the front axle nut, the little, what is that, like a 19 millimeter hex or whatever? I actually had it. I just couldn't find it. I, but anyway, that's a different story. Well, this company, what's it called? Eastbound. Um, I bought this stuff here. It's really great. Let me see if I can show this to you. It, 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 it comes apart, and it goes in these little bags right here. And this is awesome. Here, let me show you this. This, is, um, this goes together like this. And it's got the little 19 on it. I can make some leverage by adding another extension. And then I've got this guy here. This is my rear axle nut. And I can, look at this, this is awesome. And then I also have the same thing over here with the, with the spoon. So, um, and yes, they are dirty and they've been used quite a bit the last few months. So two little tiny bags, they break down into these tiny little pieces. They go in the bags um, just like this. Super easy, really quick. I really, really love this stuff, man. This has been really a practical solution because it's lightweight. These things are so, these things are so lightweight. They're made out of aluminum and they're just awesome. And so they're like friction fit with these little O-rings on there. And I'm really happy with this, man. This is really cool stuff. So um, a lot of this stuff for this, for example, this Eastbound kit right here. I, I, I buy this with my own money. I like, I just go on websites and purchase it. And sometimes people are, are reaching out to me and, and sending me stuff, which is great and thankful. But for that, sometimes it's garbage and I just throw it in the trash and you never see it, never hear about it. Sometimes I go, I actually really like this product. 
and I want to tell my friends about it, but I won't do it unless I've used it a lot. Um, let's see here. Here's an example. Uh, this Moscow stuff. Uh, I'm just bringing the little gnome bag in here for example. You can see the gnome bag. This is the tank bag. Um, I have some of their other stuff that I've been using for several months now. Like the, um, it's the Reckless 40 that I've been using. I love it. Now, if, you see, if you've seen some of the past videos, you've seen me use a lot of different bags over the years. And I have a knack for tearing them up when I'm crashing the bike or whatever. Like that. I just, I tear bags up. Sometimes I'll forget a strap or break a strap or I overload them. I think that's all like normal, like wear and tear use uh, or everyday use, I guess, for adventure. Um, but I don't like hard bags. I like the soft bags. And, but I do tear some of them up and I don't like to throw everybody under the bus, like, like certain companies that maybe have, um, products that are inferior, but, uh, so, but I do want to highlight when I find something that's really great, I'm going to tell you about it. And this Moscow stuff has been really great. Um, this is just, I pulled this in cause it was easier than bringing the whole bike in the office, but you get the idea. Moscow has been, man, they're great quality. I've been putting it to the test and it's been great. Here's one. Let me, I should probably show you this right here. This is a, okay. Um, uh, speaking of straps, um, here, I'll come back to this, but these straps right here are from Green Chili Adventure Gear, and here, this thing's been in use here, so these things are really great because they have a little bit of a little bungee effect to them, and this can go around an anchor point on the bike, tie a loop, and this is like, it's there. Same with this end. You've seen me use this, like, a ton. Doing the Transamerica Trail, doing the Continental Divide, long, long, you know, thousands of miles uh, on one single trip. Like if you don't have something like this, I use the rock straps a lot too, but these are better in a lot of ways for um, cinching things down and making sure they stay. Uh, so they're different than rock straps. So I just want to make sure that that is clear. They have two different purposes, but I, I love these. And these come from Green Chili Adventure Gear. It's really good stuff, which by the way, Hurricane Helene, destroyed that part of the Southeast and affected the Green Chili Adventure Company. So let's do something. Um, go buy some stuff from them because they, uh, they, they could use your help. And uh, I actually sent over a bunch of stickers. I don't have any examples, but I sent over a bunch of stickers and told Adam, if anyone buys, uh, if anyone buys anything, like, like they add stickers just to kind of give a little bonus. And we're going to, we just, um, here's my ask. My ask is if you want to buy a Christmas present or something or a gift for a friend, or if you just want to support uh, the Green Chili Adventure gear company because they've, they had water in their, in, their, in their store and their operation was full of water. If you want to help them out, just go buy some straps. Here's another thing that you're really going to like. This here is their, I use this. I try not to use it often, but you know what this is? This is a, uh, this is a toe strap. And this toe strap is, it's really good, good because it has this, I don't want to unwrap it all the way, but you get the idea. It has this bungee effect to it also. So that when you're getting pulled like by side by side, if you saw my video in, I think it was in Montana when I uh, had to use this a lot with my, with my 890 when I was having issues with that. That's a, uh, that's a different story. People always ask me about that, but just go watch the videos. The, that story gets finished in the Washington BDR. But anyway, Back to this, the uh, Green Chili Adventure Gear Company, super high quality products. I love their stuff and they don't give enough, get enough love. So I got to tell my people, um, get some stuff from them. So I am going to do, um, I, as I mentioned, like a lot of this stuff, I go buy with my own money and then I just, uh, I just use it. And then I talk about it. I tell my friends about it. And I didn't know that the YouTube channel was going to grow like it's growing, which it's still a small channel, but whatever. I'm, it's, it's growing more than I ever thought. It was just kind of going to be a small thing for me. And it's, um, and, but people keep asking and, uh, about the products I'm using. I'm like, I guess I should probably get more serious and tell people about this stuff. And so some of it I've been buying with my own money. Some of it, um, people will send it to me and I'll, I'll, uh, and, and I will thank them. And if it's a good product, I'll tell you about it. That's what we're doing now. Um, these guys reached out to me. I will be honest. I didn't know who they were until I got this bag from them. It's called iron motorcycle bag. This is a dry bag. It's a 30 liter. 
uh, got my logo on it, but this thing is really great. This is what I've been using for kind of like, I don't want like if I want to hop on the DRZ 400 and just go blast around the house for half a day and, and want to throw something there, I'll take this and just strap it to the back with my green chili straps and it keeps everything dry. I can actually put, um, quite a bit of stuff in here, but I don't like overloading these dry bags, but these have been really tough. Sorry, it's super dirty, but you get the idea. And, and it rolls down. I'm sure you know how these work, but you, you, you roll these things down like this and they stay dry. You can just throw your, an extra jacket or a layer in there. And it's super lightweight. Like it's really, really lightweight, but it's really, really tough. And water does not get through this. But what I was gonna say is if it's not on the bike, I just throw stuff in it and use it honestly like a little bit of a luggage bag. So I'll put this in the van and it holds things like my uh, my favorite sandals, my Cobian sandals. Dude, these are so comfortable. And uh, they even have them in my size, which is size Sasquatch. <laughs> so anyway, that's uh, got to get you some of those. Those are really great. Um, I wanted to show you, oh, air filter. I know everyone loves cleaning their air air filters and you can never have um, you, you can never do it too often you have to clean your air filter right so sometimes it's like well how do you do it i've seen all sorts of crazy methods like soaking them in gas or pouring gas over them and just all sorts of weird weird methods i'm sure it works but it makes a mess but i found something that is really awesome and I actually enjoy using it and it's the muck off air filter cleaner Again, I bought all of this stuff with my own money, but um, I would like to try to get maybe some sort of like discount code for you guys so that you can get some of this stuff. Um, so we'll put those maybe in the description if we have, I don't know, some discount codes for you. Oh, I do have, something's coming up. It's got a good discount. Okay, in the, in the description, we'll put some discount codes for you. Also on motomission.com, we will have uh, some links to some of these things on here. This air filter cleaner is, it, it literally works like magic. You pour this in like a little Tupperware bowl. I should have demonstrated this, but I had a lot going on, but you get the idea. You pour it in a bowl, you can picture this. And then you put the air filter in there and you just massage it and it foams up and it creates like this soap and it cleans it so well. And then you um, wash it off, clean it, put a little your uh, spray um, uh, oil on it. Um, you put it back in your bike and it's so simple. I love it. Speaking of muck off, I, you never see me use this. Um, cause I, I usually don't film like maintenance on the road, but anyway, I use this muck off all weather chain lube. I have, uh, I bought this locally here at a shop, but, um, I have so much of this stuff. I, I, I buy this stuff like so much and go, and this is the bike wash. Well, this is the waterless I picked up the wrong one. This is the waterless wash, which is really great, but they have others too. I have so much muck off stuff on the shelf out there. I just grabbed a couple things to show you. The chain lube's awesome. It's really good for adventure bikes. Um, they have different ones. So muck off air filter, <clears throat> cleaner, uh, bike wash, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I really like that stuff. And that's what I've been using for several years. And uh, just, had to, just had to tell you about that. Um, what else do we have over here? Oh. I told you I had one. This one, you hear me talk about this all the time. If you don't have this, what's wrong with you? You got to go get yourself a Cardo. The Pack Talk Edge is the one I recommend. That's the thing that I haven't been clear on. Sometimes people will buy one and they go, well, I got this. I'm like, yeah, that's great. But if you want the one that I use, which I think is the best, it's the Pack Talk Edge. I'm a big fan of this. <clears throat> Let's Ride will give you a discount on their website. I've been using this for, man, since 20, I think it's like 2020. So four or five years I've been using Cardo and I just love it. I'm a big, big fan. Um, we're doing some events. Make sure you come out and join us this next year with some of these events. And we're going to do events in Tennessee and Wyoming, Colorado, Georgia. I forget where else, but on motomission.com. I'm inviting you to come ride with me, hang with me. We'll build a fire, have food, sit around, hang out. But that's what we do. We do that all year round, all over the country. So um, so, so come and, and, and sign up and ride with us. I've got my one of my favorite new things in my hand that I'm about to show you. Let me just make sure I didn't forget anything. Um, I showed you the bag. I showed you the green chili stuff. Um, I think that's it. Now, for my favorite 
my favorite new thing. I bought this. Just I just honestly found it. I think it was like an Instagram ad. I was like, that's interesting. And I went and found it on the on a website. Um, and I purchased this with my own money. And when it showed up, to my surprise, they had figured out that it was me buying it and they put my logo on it. So check this out. I'm super stoked about this. It's this little thing right here. And it's like, oh, what is that? It doesn't make sense until, let me just show you this. This is so sweet. If I don't drop it, I think these are like, um, it, I think these are like magnetic in there, but this is like a little tool set, right? And it's tiny. This is what I keep on the KTM 500, the EXC. And this is like my quick access, tiny. I mean, look how tiny this thing is. This thing, I can pause. This is, this is the size of a deck of cards. This right here fits in there in the little small tank bag. I have a little um, Moscow Moto, the small tank bag, the, the little smallest one, whatever. I've had it for years. I love it. Um, and look, they put my logo on there. Look how it's, it's etched. I don't know if you can see that. You, you get the idea. Okay, so it says Moto Mission on there on that side with Brock Gill, of course. Engduro.com. Engduro is where I got this from. I don't know if you if 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 I'm saying that properly. Eng, Engduro, like England. I think they're I think they actually come from England because I know it was uh it was like a it was somewhere in Europe, but I'm pretty sure it was England, which makes sense. Oh, you gotta see this. This is a ratchet. This is the world's tiniest ratchet right here. Look at this. And you put you put this in. And it all has like a, like a magnetic effect to it. It's, it's just so precise and perfect. And you have a tiny little ratchet right there. And if you're like, oh, that's not enough leverage, guess what? This will fit in here. And this gives you all the leverage that you need. And I'm telling you, this is such a fun tool. I love this thing. This actually makes me want to break my bike just so I can work on it. Um, but yeah, it's very tiny. It goes in here. And it's, uh, it came with a little sticker. I should probably put the sticker somewhere and not just leave it in here. A little sticker. Um, very, very cool. So, again, I just bought this stuff with my own money. Um, some of this stuff, people help me out and they'll give it to me. I have been getting um, some things like this. I bought this at Slavin's Racing. Uh, you've got to, man, try. They've been giving me some things to help me out because I spend so much money on gear, tire, parts, whatever. So, Slavin's Racing has been helping me out with some things. So, I want you guys to really help uh, show some love and go spend some money at slavensracing.com, especially if you need like a new GPS or if you want, um, I don't know, some bags. I've been using the uh, giant loop bags on the uh, T7 lately, really loving those things. And they have a lot of cool stuff at Slavens that's been helping me out. So just had to tell you about that. So what else? What questions do you have? I believe that's it. Um, we have a lot of fun videos coming up for you. The channel is about to get really interesting. There's some, uh, there's some, there's some cool rides coming up. Very, very cool rides. So, uh, I want to hear from you. Um, hopefully, this stuff helps. If there's something else that you'd like to, um, if there's something else you would like to to see or or hear me talk about, like just let me know, and uh, we'll do it. So, um, hope you like, hope you like these videos. If so, please like, please subscribe. A lot more adventure coming.